Hey guys, Epic Wars TCG. Today I'm showing you every single one of my old trading card games. Now, I don't have many of them because most of them are lost to time, but I do have a few that I recently made, like within the last like six years. Um, I also had to. Uh, th th this one might look like Little Dude's TCG from Chaos Galaxy, but this was way before I even knew about him. But I used to have like thousands of these, so I only have like a few left, and I had to remake a few of them just so I could show you the old ideas. But yeah, uh, let's get right into this, starting with the game I just showed you. This one was called Paper Guys. I even have a little box. It, it says 2020 because I made the box then. But yeah, I remade most of these in 2020. Uh, but yeah, we got Super Plant. And some of these are based off of my uh, like modern cards. Some of them my friends made, like this one in Haunted Chicken, Warlord. This one kind of looks like Boba Fett. But yeah, I do plan on um, making some of these into actual cards. And also, good news, I started coloring in most of my cards with colored pencils, like working on the background more, because I think a few people requested them in the comments. So expect uh, set 5 and set 6 cards to be colored in fully. So yeah. Also, I did some full art cards. So I will have updated videos for set 1, set 2, um, and set three showing all the, like, the new cards. But yeah. Okay, so that was kind of just, like, a little TCG. Now let's actually get into the real TCGs. So, I know I've already shown this specific TCG on my channel. Um, but that was a really bad video and my voice was way squeakier, so I might as well redo it in better quality. So, yeah. This one was kind of, like, the first like, big one that I did and actually, like, committed to and stuck with. I have most of the cards. I lost a few, but that's, again, like, with every TCG, like, old ones. But yeah, you might notice some of these cards. Um, I also drew a lot of, like, the artworks on this paper, too, um, but I never used those because I was going to do digital, but I only made a few cards for digital, and I just decided to switch to my game. So, yeah, now let's actually get into showing the cards. First card is Zongbat. Finesh. I actually might uh, put this card in my game. And same with uh, Vortex Beast. X-Man. Uh, Mason Ice Dragon. Killer Cloud. That's a cool card. Monster Bot. Grand Chorp. This is actually the first one I've ever made. You can tell, like, compare the artwork from that card to that one. Oops. It's crazy. Uh, this one is Bozard. Fire Elemental. Dawson Bomber, Ninja Sword. Feel free to put it on playback speed if you want me to speed up or something. Because I am just doing a quick run through of all the cards. Shield, the only, probably one of the only spells in this game I had. Arctic Golem. Can't even read that. Electro Dog. Drillbot. Darkfish. Classic Orc. Droplet Warrior. Minglong Chin. Uh, Plowed the Drop. Poisonous Ooze. Should keep this organized. Um, Death Flame. Deltor, one of the worst cards. Ice Insect. This one's in my new game, too. Beehive. Zeta Bird, same with this one. Monster Plant Type A. I, this is one of the only cards that I like this artwork better than the like the new one I drew. I just, I've tried so hard to get this artwork, but I just can't. It always looks way different. Cacto. Coban. Pirate ship. It's actually not a bad pirate ship. Ice Spike Warrior. Grumlot. Robox Warrior, which looks like... I forgot his name. Oh, Zormax. Yeah, Zormax. Okay, Ancient Tonfish. Deadly Bee. Ronmon. Roxer. Deadly Plant. I actually might add this one, too. It looks cool. Eoth Fighter Jet. It kind of looks like a TIE Fighter. So yeah, Orladio Warrior, Keplos Virus, Planet of Feth. Um, this one's Arctic Warrior, the second version I drew. Takak Thrasher, Don Shard, Glasgow Bot. I went to Scotland and I went to a place called Glasgow, so I just thought I'd make a card based on that. It, it, it has nothing to do with the robots, I just like the name Glasgow. Dead Pirate, Skeleton Pirate, Plorg, oops. Exotic Hammer, 
Gold Drum Zenith, Blaster Turtle. I did have this card in set one, but I didn't like how it looked. So I should remake that and probably put it in like set six or five. Mungbug, Grout the Champion, Mulk, Woodland Warrior, Lightning Boss, Sword and Shield combo, pretty good. Uh, Megatron, Quarter Duo. Oh, this isn't from this game. Uh, Mong Zenoth. I you can tell I really liked this artwork because I have it in like every game. Uh, Gomb, Apex Predator, Devil Knight Plant, Stump Hunger. I actually like this one better than the card I drew for it too. Match, Spartan Warrior. Oh yeah. Uh, if you don't know, in set two I had like a Spartan archetype. I do plan on making like a Spartan Warrior, like this one for it because. Many people are like, well, if you have, like, just attachments for it, you should have, like, an actual creature. So, I will make one for that. A Mega Squid, Self-Destruct, Fireball, this, or no. These are the two last spells. And then Payloff the Devil. Okay, now, after that TCG, I took a little break, and then I came back. And I was just trying to find a game to make. I tried this kind of concept, and I really didn't like it. So then I moved on to try... This one, which I actually might have made before. I don't remember. It's quite a while ago. But yeah, th this one had like all different sorts of cards. They're all color co co coordinated. First one is Centaur. Snare. I actually kind of like that artwork. That's not that bad. Warhammer. Leaf Swarm. Axe. Wow, the spelling on that. Drought. Health Potion. Jetpack. Poison Potion. Fireball, Ice Golem, Fire Orb Champion, Soth, Janglo, Gorzard. Those are some cool names, actually. Shield. I like how I just called this one Shield. In my new game, I kind of have, like, actual, like, cool names, like Shield of Strength or something. Not just, like, basic stuff like that. Mega Boss, Bulletproof Vest. That's actually kind of a cool card idea. Also, feel free to use any of these ideas. I, Of course, these are my old TCG, so feel free to use any of the concepts. Metal armor. Leather armor. Bow. Wings of fury. Spear. Ancient sword. Scale armor. Ice warrior. I had this card in every game I've had showed, or showed so far. And then trident. This one looks good, too. Okay. Now that we're done showing that, I have two more games to show you. So after all that, I kind of wanted to go digital. So I tried my hand at digital, didn't really like the process. It took way too long. And then I would have to print out every card and then show you on camera or just wait like a month for the game crafter to ship the cards. So that's why I like homemade cards better. So I can just show you right when I make them um, to make good videos. But yeah. Uh, I just dabbled my toe in this. I thought it was okay, but, you know, it could definitely be better. Uh, this was actually a starter deck, um, but it do obviously doesn't have all the cards. Eoth Deep Watcher. You notice it might have, like, a few um, mechanics from my new game, um, except for the attack and defense are way different, because now I use dice for my game. Tortile Warrior. Because I know, like, someone commented that this looks too much like Chaos Galaxy. So that's what made me want to change to my game, which was way different. Eoth Heavy Hammer. Eoth Bow. Eoth Sword and Shield. Flaming Fireball. Turtle Tank. Eoth Scout Cannon. Eoth Potion. Eoth Scroll. Lots of Eoth cards. Eoth Scout Jet. Re Reincarnation. Flame Flyer. Kind of cool. And Eoth Jungle Monster. This is the modern day Zormax. Um, it looks pretty much the same, just it has a different name. Eoth Shield, Eoth War Leader, and uh, Point to Peg. Okay, now I'm going to show you my last TCG, which I actually just recently made. This one is kind of a crossover between TCGs and PCGs, which are paper computer games. And I'll have a link to my paper computer game channel if you don't know like that I had one. Um, but yeah, I tried to make like a little crossover. I stuck with it for like one day and then I kind of dropped it. But yeah, this is Zuvac. And basically you would use PCG mechanics 
um, to fight your players. You would you would just say what would happen. You wouldn't actually like do any combat. You just say, okay, Zuvac smashes uh, roughly with his antenna or something. And the combat would kind of go like that. It's actually a very interesting idea. And I challenge anybody to make a game like this. But it definitely uh, is like less structured and more complex. So yeah, or less complex. Roughly, and it takes all like famous uh, PCG characters like Zuvac and Roughly are probably two of the most famous, if not uh, less famous. Like I know Zuvac is, I don't, I'm not sure about Roughly, but yeah. And then this is a Tiki Nuki from my universe. Um, and yeah, so guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I know I don't have as many homemade TCGs as like, let's say like Chaos Galaxy, but I do have a little amount, so I thought I'd show you. Um, but I used to have tons more, like, I would have a whole chest full, like, filled to the brim with just these little tiny cards. Um, of course they weren't that detailed, but me and my friends would play with them. And I invented a game using Magna Tiles, I believe. I think I'll cover that in a future video, where I actually show you how to play Paper Guys. It was actually kind of complex for, like, such a small age I was. Um, or how young I was, sorry. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.